Top tip, when you put this plastic bit in, don't put it in. How are we doing then? It's been a while, isn't it? Had a steamy window for a couple of days. Just kind of thought, hmm, that's weird. Then I see in a the footwell, there's a puddle. And it's cool. So I've got a spare matrix actually down the field. So I'm going to grab that and we'll just, we'll basically just pressure test it and then put that one in. So, pull the glove box out. It's got two tabs, just bend the glove box in, pull that down. Dryer motor, link pipe, if you've got aircon, aircon condenser or evaporator, I can never remember which, is there, and the heater matrix is further down here. So we're going to grab the dashboard out, basically, there's a bolt down here, there's another bolt there, and there's a bolt down here, and one there. And we're going to need to disconnect the radio, all the wiring, and we need to get the heat controls out. So the heat controls are going to be the first thing I'm going to tackle. So, yeah, and I've also got some stuff Jerry done dash like that EGT gauge, so it's going to be fun. Bonnet release cable needs to come out and unscrew the fuse box. And then take... So to disconnect the heater controls is fairly easy, but getting that out you need radio keys. So obviously red one is here. Let me put my torch somewhere. It's a bit awkward. Uh, what you want to do is there's a little plastic like it's got a little clip on it. You want to push that in and then pull that little ringlet off of there. Pull that down. Now you want to make sure when you put these back that the bite marks of this clip go back on the cable where it was otherwise that'll be like somewhere else all right There should be another one at the back here somewhere. Oh, I can't remember. Or is it both on the other side? As you can tell, we've got a leaky heater matrix. That's where the air con would come through if you had air con. And then to get that heater control out, I've just got a welding rod. I'm just going to bend it around and make my own removal tool with a welding rod has he done it? Yeah. with the draper? Yeah. tin snips you're lucky they didn't break this is a 316 welding rod but you could use mild steel nickel Long as about two mil. That should now should pull out. <laughs> should. There we go. Give it a bit of persuasion from the back. Let's get the stereo out as well. And all 
of wiring. There's a lot of wiring. And for my own light, sub is on the two blue wires. Nice floor. Heater controls this side then. There's your two cables. That makes, that makes three, because there's only three cable. It's fucking cramped there. You can see me leak. Uh, where can I put the torch? Not there. Uh, so yeah, yellow goes to the top. Blue's at the bottom. Pop them off. And again, you just want to squeeze those little tabs down hold that ring on, it's hard to do one handed. You see the boost gauge, professional install there look. Oh. Um, like I say, handbrake's on a separate bracket so that'd be fine. Yeah. There you go, you just pull them off. On the yellow one it's at the top and the blue one it's at the bottom. Just to help you guys out. As you can see that little tag there. That just goes over that. Like that. It won't come off until you push that little tab down. So then when you bend that rod in, that'll release the locks. And you'll be able to pull this out. There you go, she's free. Special tool. And as you can see, it's just a loom getting in the way. There you go, there's all the radio wires sticking out as well. So, anything really take away from this just don't get your RCA stuck in there uh, there's your heater one to four switch <laughs> we went ahead and unclipped all this and changed them in the car park turns out there's some little quarter turn bulb holders in the back there right there That's the one for the lights, that's the one for the aircon. Sorted. So potentially, look, we've got two stereo slots there. I wonder if we could switch them around, that'd be pretty cool. Hey, I reckon I might have a double din ranger, mate. The heater controls. Uh, basically a fucking radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking two stereos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where we put the heat controls? Don't worry about that. Fucking chuck it Take this off. There is three screws in the bottom of here. If you spin the bonnet release, there's a nut on the back. 
which you'll be able to just undo by hand. If not, I think it's a 14. Undo that a little bit, and then you can twist it 90 degrees and drop it out. You need to undo that nut a fair bit to get past the notch. Oh, the dash, there you go. See, that's got, as you can see, it's got two flats on it. Just pop it up, turn it, and there she goes. Like that. All fucking flattered. Um, yeah, just remove that. And the fuse box will sort of lean forward, and you'll be able to take it out of the pegs. Sorry about the lighting, that's pretty poor. We're in a little shed. Pull the fuse box forward, lift it up, and you'll be able to push the back back down and then away from those holders. There you go, she's free. Yeah. Clocks, so Phillips underneath here. I'm actually going to need a Phillips to do these, I can't just bodge that. So there's a Phillips here, the Phillips there. Take them two out, and then we'll get a tool behind the dash here in that gap. Pop her out. Spin that out. There you go. So there's two screws there. That'll come out. Now, this whole thing should pull out. Fingers behind it. That will pop out. Uh, you're probably best getting like a trim tool. We don't have one of them. There you go. I just pulled that away by hand. I must get a screwdriver down the back of. And it's not really a strong clip, it's just a bit of a all over, it just kind of sinks in there. Pull up forward. It's not like a harsh plastic clip, it's just got some little springs behind there. Yank that out, and then you can disconnect your clock. Your hazard switch, and then there's there you go. Push down that little tab. That's your heated rear screen. And then this one is your dimmer. It's an oscillator circuit. That comes out. And now you're left with the clocks. Clocks are nice and easy. Three screws. One at the top. I feel like I've already had the clocks out of this car, but I can't remember why. So, screw at the top. And screw in each corner. There we go. Clocks will just literally pull down and out spin them this way and you'll be able to get your hand down there there's two connectors a white and a black if you've got an auto not that you UK guys will there'll be another plug here one and two these clocks And then you can get your hand behind here. These are a bit tricky. Um, from what I remember, they do just shove forward on spring clips. They've not got like tree clips or anything on them. You just have to be a bit brave with them. You can do them from the front of a screwdriver. But like I say, that's a bit cringe. 
Hey guys, push all up in the back. Mirror switch. And here's a fun fact. Obviously with these two being here and the other two being up there on that on that little top dash bit. Someone I know actually switched around the location of all these switches, which is pretty cool. Never seen that done before. The same again for the ones next door. Just push them on the back. You see? They'll pop out. That is uh, headlight leveling. We don't have that, but we could use that for something. Maybe every mod for three different settings. Right, fog light, that's all those, that's just a pocket, if you're on a four wheel drive this will have RFW and front fog lights on there, some KFC shit. Uh, so, bolt there, and uh, just two bolts down here by the looks of it, so one, I'll update if I find any more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seven bolts. And then we need to unplug the airbag as well, actually. Or do we? No, I don't think we do, actually. I think that just lays underneath there. Um, we're going to try and give this a shot now. I don't think she's going to come out without taking the wheel off. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two bolts, 10 mils, at either side. That'll get the airbag out and then I can get a socket on the wheel, undo it, give it a thump and that should come off. <laughs> Turns out the bolt's tight. And uh, when you turn it, it takes a horn. <laughs> Fuck's up to you now. Alright. One bolt. Where's my pot? That was put everything in. Helps to have a pot to put shit in. I must admit, the camera skills are probably going to be quite bad. I've not done a video in about six months. Well, maybe a little bit less than that because I've done a few videos. But I haven't edited any. So, yeah, been a while. Alright, you want to unplug that, I can't remember how you do that, oh, you unclip it don't you, so you pull that plastic clip off there, pull them open, you'll be able to break that connector free and then open it up. There you go, he'll do that. And you'll be able to pull it through. And now Leon needs help again. Hang on. There we go. Oh, shit. Come on. She's probably not been out in 20 years. There we go. We'll put her somewhere safe. It's want to sit on it or something. And then that looks like a 21 mil. That's your horn. That obviously goes to the clock spring. We won't fuck with the clock spring. There we go. So that's your horn. I've just unplugged it. Alright. Unplug that. Then your clock spring can obviously stay where it is. 
um, it's important when you take the steering wheel off that you don't rotate the clock spring from where it was so perhaps a cable tie or a bit of insulation tape otherwise if it unwinds too much when you turn like right handed lock you'll end up snapping it alright so there we go it's free what I'll do as well before I take it off is I'll mark it up So we're hard up against right hand steering lock. Um, there you go, just sharply there. There we go. There we go, that's better than nothing. Give her a couple of smacks and that'll come off. So you break the tape, huh? So yeah, leave that clock spring where it is. Then we can take the dash out over the top of that lot. Lovely. Right, so steering cowl is off. So lock that up when it's down low. Leon's having a party. And then, uh, that should lift out. I don't know. I can't remember how the other one come out. <laughs> I don't think it's there. Or oh, perhaps it is. Yeah. No. That is. They need two more bolts, you idiot. It's been a long day. We've welded 21 cylinder heads today. And now we're doing this. So take these two bolts out, don't be a silly bastard like me. Then it left out. Bit of a boost gauge to the say it, huh? Yeah, that feels a lot better. Right. Leon knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. You need to take them two bolts out and that plug. And then she'll come free. After you've mullered up the dash trying to get the airbag out. Follow what indicator the way. Are you? Ah uh, crap, I'm gonna have to come on. To unplug the loom connector that fucking holds it to the dash rail. That, otherwise when you pull it, it won't come out. It's a bit of a twilight. Like, I can fucking drop a gearbox out in about 30 minutes, but the wiring connectors are <laughs> just as well. There we go. Yeah. Well, it's got another connector. What? They really didn't want this to come out, did they? It might as well flop your dash right now. Did you fancy it? No. <laughs> it would look cool, though. Eh? I've got another dash somewhere. It's Charlie had one as well. So there's a spare dash floating around somewhere. Fuck knows where. There we go, that'll come up now. Hey! I bet that one will go off of a bang. So indicators. I reckon take take these off. I reckon take them both off. And just let them hang. Yeah? Yeah. You the man then? You say? If it, all the gubbins pops out, I'm blaming you because I ain't got a spare set. Yeah, they're well fiddly. Oh god, yeah. I've probably got spare screws, but 
I got a spare oh. set of indicator stalks off an Australian truck. So the indicators are on that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. I'm not putting them on. <laughs> Fuck that. That's what Sean's like. Though. Oh, look. There you Leon go. knows what there he's doing. Go. He doesn't even own a Ranger. So, take them two screws out of that body. And uh, just, yeah, do that. Drop screws on the floor. Yes. <laughs> Top tip. <laughs> Then the dash will come out. We'll probably find something else now as well. Yeah. All the heater ducts look like they just come out with it, so that's all gravy. The Leroy no, is having a rave. Leon, Leroy, Liam. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> what was the other thing you got called? Uh, where can I put these In your pocket. Chuck us it here. I'll just put them all in one big box and we'll know exactly where they came from. I reckon she'll come out. You do? I reckon she'll come out. Oh. Right. Yep, I reckon that'll come out easy. She goes. That was well easy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Hold on. Oh, fuck! Hold on. What on Someone's here? on a bodge job. What we got going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what you want to do with that. Just to undo that screw holding that little... Uh... Where are you oh, it might even be a plug on it. Is there a plug on it? Plug on there. No, on the other one. Do, 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 do. On that black wire. What's holding it on? Yeah, yeah. Oh. On the boost gauge. There we go. Will your change will fall out. Mint mate! <laughs> <laughs> so that bolt there, and there's a little plastic like pin. There's a little plastic pin under here. Oh, I'm just struggling to get out. Once you pull that off, this duct should be free basically. We can get to the center matrix. So that just literally comes off that screw. There's two pinholes. A bit damp. And then you can see in here. So, if you were uh, moving the heater controls, this one is fresh air and recirculated. And then these two are like your feet and screen and your hot and cold. The hot and cold one literally just moves that flap. That's hot going through the matrix. That's cold, it's that simple. So you can see the matrix in the back there. You just need to undo all these bolt holes and pull this plastic bit out. So the dash rail is gonna have to come out a little bit. Just a little bit. I think we'll leave everything on it and we'll just pull it out a smidge. Alright, two bolts, three bolts, slacking the bolts on the steering column and that will actually come out that steering column. Now it's out that side, it's out there. Done. So that's little shim clip things, yeah. I don't know why they put them on there, little shim things. So, We'll leave that hanging. I don't think that's really going to damage anything. And we'll start unbolting that tomorrow. Get that off. Just pull that back a bit. We're not doing anything properly. So I kind of got a bit ahead of myself tonight. But there's a bolt at the bottom middle. Two bolts at the top. And then a bolt down there. Seems pretty free. Hold that and that, and I've got my bungs in position. So you should probably just pull out. Probably, I'm not sure. <laughs> just got to get the bungs out. At <laughs> Bentwood. <laughs> so this rubber pops off. It's like the opposite to what you think it'd be. It actually comes out around rather than a grommet. 
and then this plastic piece like unclips and then pops out so you want to put the screwdriver there bend it inwards Yep. So push that in and then pull out on that long clip. Kind of hard to do one of There you go, that pops out. Pull it off of there and the heater matrix should pull through. That one will pull through alright. Oh, fucking unit. Got it out? Uh, basically. You got a lot more to put in? Yeah. And I pressure tested it this morning. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Probably want to remove the dash rail. <laughs> no, I'll keep looking. So that's that unit out. <laughs> We'll just spend all day charging it up and then, uh, yeah. oh, look at the leaves in there. Oh, mate, I just lost a fucking screw from the door, pal. Door, I, got, I got a whole box of spare screws in there, wow. didn't I? So, that's the yeah, matrix. Part, again. Take off there. There's always spare screws and we're done. I know. Look what old mate you found me at the scrapyard. We'll see if You've it fits. Your videos. So then you can just undo these clamps. Who lose me the dirt? Who built this? Who built what? This. Oh. And then it pulls out and you got loads of novel dirt on it. Oh, tasty. Tasty. It's a bit ropey. <laughs> <laughs> so, new one in there. Just I've given this a bit of a hose out. Last Drop that in. Sorry. Yeah, right, needs bending out a little bit. Yeah. Sorted. You know she's, Stephen, she's pucker. Right, so after you put that matrix back in that box, you literally just slip it back through and poke the hard lines through those holes. You put that plastic clip back around there and that grommet back on that one and then obviously like put it back together reverse so those four lots and bolts back on and then we're gonna have to put the dash rail back on there's a couple of wires that I had to unclip on the way just to put the dash rail back far enough I'd recommend removing this to be honest to do a better job uh, and then we can lift the dash back over the top plug everything back in Right, so the dash rail's bolted back in. Right, you're right, I've been naughty, I've took the clock spring off. I think that's the horn, I don't really know. Uh, I've took the clock spring off to fit that wheel, and I'll see if I've got a Mark 1, one of these, with a little pin in here that sticks out on the back of the wheel. Like the original Mark 1 wheel, there's a little metal ring around there. That's for the horn. So I'm going to try and retrofit that pin in that socket. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do with that. Um, I've put the cables back in, the clips, like the aerial, and that one there. And then the other side of that airbag connector goes on that white clip when you put it back together. So now we're ready to lift the dash back over. She's all in, and I've taken the liberty of removing the door lock and the burglar alarm to when we retrofit the Mark II door lock timer and central locking box over there. Cletus! Don't forget to show you the nice new gear stick I made. Oh, Charlie's maybe a new gear He's doubled it up! <laughs> yeah, boy. And then we can use that thread to put another one on. Oh, we could put the mill whiskey on top of that. We could make it like double double. Ah, oh, we need a piece of studding. You got any stud? I don't really carry studding on me. No. <laughs> it's a fucking jack pitch as well, isn't it? Ah, yeah. uh, oh, we'll make something. Oh, he's going to jerry it up. There's another connector there look, that I made. Yeah, look. Mint. Oh yeah, look, fixed. Fucking mint, mate. I'll show you a video in a minute. 
Right, the dash is back in, it lifted in pretty easy. Just straight over the steering column, you have to twist the handbrake so that goes over there. Uh, and then then five pins slot in those little brackets behind the dash. But yeah, pretty easy. I'm going to put those bolts back in there. Those bolts back in there. And then on this side, I'm drawing a cock on there as well. There's a bolt there, 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 two on the airbag, and one down there. Yeah? And I shall see you soon. Right, yeah. Start her up then. Right. Give him an update, because it's been six months since you've done a fucking video. Six months? It's got to be longer than that. Oh, man, it's been a while. Still look how high she is, look. Your knees touch rocks, Lorda. Have it, Greta. So then, pretty proud of that scrapyard found, that find, that Leon found me. Now, will it fit? That is the question. No way. <laughs> no way. It looks like it does. That's pretty neat. Alright. I'm gonna say that fits. I think it's off an MX5, he said. So as you can see, the pin on that would have just pushed on there, on that contact ring originally. And then that pin would have had a little spade terminal going to that clip, I should think. Very nice. I don't I don't think it goes with the rust. But it's very nice. We're gonna I reckon we'll get some epoxy all over that. I've got some casting epoxy, so I'm gonna fill that all in, and then I'll sandblast it at work, or bead blast it, and then we'll revarnish it. Mint. Top tip: when you put this plastic bit in, don't put it in. Take it back out and put the rubber on it, and then clip the whole thing in because this is the awkward as to put the rubber around it afterwards. All right. And pop that over there. Uh, that's better. Spin that. Click. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want to do. So put that on there. I'm gonna have to re-bleed all this. I've got another video on bleeding the heating system. I'm not gonna bore you again. This is quite involved. Tighten them up. Slide the hose clip up. Knock the camera off. You can slide it over there. And go about tucking that in. I'm going to tuck it in and then spin it and try and get the lip over it. Seems like it's in alright. Shove that over. And then lock and pliers. And if you tighten the lock and pliers up just enough, it will grip the clip when it closes and you'll be able to shimmy it along the pipe. Like that. Check she's on there. Check you can feel that little ridge where the hose lip is. Make sure she's over it. Make sure it's not kinked. Alright, so dash is bolted up. Remembering those bolts under there. Airbag time. Literally just goes in there. Pull that wire through. Pretty self explanatory, isn't it? Goes together. And then that. Pops on there. 
that bit, the back end of that, with that little yellow tag in the back. Goes up there, alright. Done. Um, so obviously, cigarette lighters and everything need to be plugged in. That needs to get rid of. There's the temperature sensor thing for the aircon. If you've got aircon, I don't. So I think we'll put the heater unit back in next. So up there. Heating link comes down there. So we need to route the cables behind that lot. Side or any wiring or anything stupid like that. Right. So that goes behind that wire. Like that. Those go down that side. Underneath there. You see? I just connect them back up. I really should have bought my tripod with me. I managed to bust a light yesterday somehow. So they're coming back out. And I thought I'd show you another way of line up these cables. Is that when... You see that hole there? And there's a hole, there's like a little hole with a slot in it and there's a hole in that body. Put the demister on fresh, put a drill bit or a screwdriver in that hole and line it up, then put the cable on and click it in the right place. And then the same with the others, you go all the way cold and then demister on there. And that will then, oh, that will line up, I don't know if you guys can see from there, that will line up that hole right there, and that will line up that hole right there. And that's how you set them, you just put them in that hole, pin them up, and then clip the cables in that position when they're locked, and take the pins out. <laughs> 